And we'll start today sitting in a comfortable cross-legged position. And if you're not comfortable, then see what will help you be comfortable. Maybe sitting up on something, sometimes propping under the knees with pillows. What, what, what works for you? And we'll take the flesh of the buttocks and pull it back behind the sit bones. Sometimes maybe having a cat on your lap helps. <laughs> okay, and let's have the palms down on the legs for a moment. Take a deep breath, push down into the hands, lifting tall through the spine. And then see if you can keep the spine tall and exhale and lower the shoulders. Feel the shoulder blades rolling down the back. And then if you prefer to turn the palms up, you're welcome to change that. Might be nice just to take a moment with the eyes closed to to see how it feels to have the palms up versus down. The experience in the physical body, but also beyond that. And then bring your awareness to your belly. See if there's any holding that you might be able to let go of. Letting the belly fall open and drop down. And bring attention to the neck and shoulders. See if there's any tightness or tension that you might be able to melt. Like ice to water. And then water to gas. And then check in with the face and the jaw. See if there's any tension there. Just letting everything become soft and relaxed. And then noticing the breath. Soft, relaxed belly, seeing if you might deepen the breath. Feeling the roundness, the fullness, spaciousness of breath. And then bringing the breath from the belly up into and across the ribs. Feeling expansion, space.
and feeling a sense of ease in the body, letting the body melt into that exhale, soften, relax. Finally, breathing into the belly. Maybe even feeling that moment of stillness after the exhale before the exhale. Reach the arms up. Really reaching and then exhaling, relaxing down. Continue like that. Feeling the arms expanding, making more room for the breath. the arms releasing, signaling the letting go that's possible. Taking your time until the breath is complete. And next time the arms come up, please hold them there. And then pull the shoulders down. And see if you can both reach up through the fingers and pull down through the shoulders. Feel the breath. And then we'll alternate. And on the inhale, reach up with the right arm, stretching, and then exhale, coming down. Inhale, left. Exhale, down. Leaving the arms up, just releasing the stretch. Just bending a little bit to one side. Feeling the breath coming into the side body of the side that's reaching. Maybe going a little bit more to the side now. See if that helps the breath or challenges the breath or maybe neither. Yeah, that's great, Teresa. 
it's fine to let one arm come down like Teresa is doing if that works for you. And then, then on your next exhale, release the arms down. Feel the sensations and the shoulders, perhaps the neck. And then roll forward. And relax the shoulders down. And just turn the head from side to side. And when you turn to one side, shoulder back a little bit. Bring the hands to the ground in front of you. And just sweep across with your hands, skimming fingers along the floor, leaving your bones resting down. Now we'll add some arms. So when you come to the side, then take the arm and scoop it up and all the way around, rest it down, bring the other arm to the side, scoop it up, gaze, follow the hand, resting it down, and then across and up, moving with your breath. See if the inhale can last the whole time that you reach across and up. And then just exhale down. Do one more. And then rest the arm down. one's in front or on top, and then release the legs. Way. Bringing the opposite leg in front. And let's pull the flesh of the buttocks back behind the sit bones again. So feel your breath with the fingers to chest.
Stay with that. And then lift your chin a little bit. Just a little, not reaching all the way up, just maybe an inch. And then drop your chin. Just slightly lower than neutral. See if it feels different. And then on an inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, fold. Walking the hands forward, relaxing the head down. Let the elbows bend. Let's take the lock out of them. Then feel the breath coming into the body. Feel the space that it moves into and maybe even opens up. And see if you can inhale until there's really no more space for you to possibly inhale into. Just keep dragging the breath into the body until you're full. And then when you exhale, surrender, let go of the weight of your body. See if there's any holding in the arms or anywhere else. Try to let it go. And then walk the hands in, roll yourself up, lift the arms up, inhale. And then bend the elbows and bring the hands to the upper back, palms still together, reaching up through the elbows as you breathe in, lowering the hands as you breathe out. Stretching those triceps, opening the lungs. And then clasp the hands, bring them to the back of the head and release the head forward, letting the elbows release down. Drop the shoulders. Just let the weight of the hands be heavy on the head. And then as you breathe, imagine you're breathing up into your neck. What can you relax more with the exhale? And then inhale, lift your head, open your elbows, take a deep breath, and then release the hands down. Be 
release the lid, shake them out. legs out to the side. Bring the hands to the ground behind you. Push into the hands. Slide the buttocks forward. Good. And flex the feet. Then bring the hands over to the right side. One hand on the right leg. And then start to walk your body over that right leg. Your left leg. And then if you like, you can, you don't have to, but you can reach out long through that right arm. the leg strong. And back up. 
And reach the arms up, inhale. So right arm down in front of the right leg, left arm reaching over and now it's roll your belly and chest up toward the sky. If you can, roll your gaze. On an inhale, come up. Exhale, come down to the arm inside the thigh, the right arm overhead, rolling your belly, your chest, your gaze up. Or if your neck doesn't like that, you can look down. reaching the right foot and the right hand away from each other. Pressing down through the thighs, pressing the left arm into the leg to roll the ribs under you more. Inhale, exhale, release the hands down. And you can have them behind you if you want to help keep the spine. Or you can bring them in front of you if doing so doesn't cause you to collapse your heart in. And if the arms are in front of you and you're able to keep the spine straight and the chest open, feel free to hinge forward. Letting yourself lower with each exhale. Just breathing in. The less you do, holding back and just letting go. And if you're fully full, lift yourself up. And then we'll all reach up, inhale. 
Exhale the arms down to the outer legs. And then help the legs around to the front. And then bring the feet in over the legs, coming at the knees. Taking table posture with the hands or fists under shoulders, knees under hips. Good. Now we're going to belly down, lift the chest and the eyes. See, your microphone is breaking in and out, and I oh. can't hear you. Oh, no, it's oh. coming back. Okay. Sorry. What's going on? Can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to come into a cow pose, tailbone up, belly down, chest and eyes up. And then as you exhale, you're going to stay in this posture and you're going to sink your back body into your front body. And then you're going to inhale again here, feeling the breath opening up the front of the body. And then on the exhale, you're going to switch coming into cat, tailbone down, belly lifts, head down. And then you're going to stay here and then inhale, feeling the back of the body breathing. And then on the exhale, lift the front body into the back body even more. And then inhale, switch, tailbone up. Belly down, eyes up. On the exhale, sinking the back body into the front body. Inhale, front body longer. Exhale, switch. So continue like that. So it's one and a half breaths in each posture. Two exhales on the cat and two inhales on the cow. Ending with this mixed cat rounded back. And then whenever you're complete, and please do finish it up. And then when you're complete, we'll come back to neutral spine. Flat back, table posture. And then we'll take the left leg back, the gaze down, and the right arm forward. If that's too much for you, you can keep the arm down. Really reaching back and forward. And then lifting the belly.
Then bring the right arm down, cross the left leg over to the right behind you with the toes curled under on the floor. Squeeze the inner thighs together. Take weight into your left hand. Turn your belly to the right and then send your right arm up. Inner thighs squeezing together. Deep breath in and out. Then release the arm down. Bring the left knee back down into your table posture. Find your breath, gazing down at the ground. Send the right leg back. And if you can, the left arm forward. Lift the belly to support the spine. And return the left arm down, cross the right foot behind you with the toes curled under on the floor. Bring weight into the right hand, turn your belly to the left, squeeze the inner thighs together, and then lift the left arm up. And release the hand, bring the knee back, coming into table again. And then we'll just take one cat pose, rounding the back, re-straightening the spine, breathing into it, holding in this position. And then relax and come down onto your belly. into the right hand and lift your face off the ground. And then keep yourself strong for that left leg. If you're holding on to the ankle, you can even push the toes away from you. And then I'll give you some options. One is you can lift the back leg also.
one foot. Okay, I'll take this thing off since it's giving us trouble. Okay, so what we're doing is we're holding one foot with the left hand and then optional is to bring that right hand forward or bring the right hand back around that same foot. So we're not taking both feet. If you can hold both feet, both hands to the foot, then feel free, but it's just optional. And then that other leg can be lifted or down. And it, you wanna be kicking back with your left foot. And release down, release the foot, rest your forehead on your stacked hands. If your breath became short or shallow, deepen it again. And then press the hips down into the ground. Bend your right leg and reach your right hand back for your right foot. Send the left arm forward. Press down into the hips. Press down into the left hand, lifting your face and chest. And then kick the right foot up and back so that the thigh comes off the floor. And then again, you have the option of lifting that left leg. You have the option of lifting the left arm or taking the left hand and bringing it around that back foot as well. Spreading the breath wide across the chest. And release everything down. Stack the hands under the shoulders, rest. Under the forehead, rest the forehead on the hands. And then bend the knees. And then just windshield wipe your legs from side to side. This, by the way, is a good posture to do if you have digestive problems. It's massaging your colon. You might be able to feel that. Good. And then come center, bringing the soles of the feet together, taking the knees out wide, lowering the inner ankles toward the floor as much as you can. Pressing the hips down as you're pressing the feet down. Breathing in and out slowly. And then release, bringing the legs back down. 
slide the hands out from under your forehead and place them under your shoulders. Push into your hands. Lift yourself up. Spread your fingers, curl your toes, and press up into downward facing dog. Bend the elbows and then roll them down. And then push into the hands and fingers, sending the hips back, breathing in as you lengthen the torso, breathing out as you lengthen the legs and press down through the heels and sink through the chest and head. Pressing forward with the fingers as though you're in a Perpetual effort to shift weight from the fingers to the heels. Relax the head. And walk the feet up to the hands. Soft knees, chin to chest. Roll yourself up. Reaching the arms up. Inhale. Exhale, release down. Inhale, up. Exhale down. One more. And now stand for a moment, resting the body, feeling the breath. And then lift the toes and spread them wide and lower them down. Reach the left arm up, inhale. Exhale, bring the hand to the right side of the head. And then bring the left ear down. And then I'll give you some options. You can press down strongly with the right hand, or you can take all the weight into your left foot and then lift the right foot into the right hand and then kick the foot down to create a little more stretch through the neck and shoulder. Slow breathing, left shoulder drops. If you're holding that foot, release it down. Bring the hand to the left side of the head and lift it up. Release the arm. Close the eyes. Feel the feet. Relax the belly. Feel the breath. On an inhale, reach the right arm up. Exhale, bring it over to the left side of the head and drop the head down to the right. And then either push down strong and long through that left hand or shift weight into the right foot and then bring the left hand over around that left foot, kicking down through the foot, 
Find your gaze point that supports you somewhere off to the left. Dropping that right shoulder, right hand and arm heavy. Breath slow and steady. And release the foot if you're holding it. Bring the right hand to the right side of the head, lift the head up. Release the arm down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Rock a little bit from the toes to the heels. Breathing slowly in and out. And then come to stillness. Relax the arms. Maybe take hold of opposite elbows and let them hang down. If the hands don't reach the ground, then you can just let the arms hang down. Press down into the feet, pull up through the thighs. And as you exhale, lift the belly in and up. Long, slow breath. And then release the arms and the knees coming down onto the ground and all the way onto your back. Bending the knees, lift the hips, tuck the tailbone, lower back down, release the legs, shake them out. If you have an eye pillow that you'd like to place on your eyes, you can do that now. And we'll let the arms rest out away from the body. Closing the eyes if you're comfortable with doing so. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale out of the mouth, releasing the body into the ground. Inhale through the nose. Exhale out of the mouth, releasing the weight of the jaw, letting the lips gently part. Inhaling deep, exhale out of the mouth, releasing the activity of the mind. Turning your full attention to the feel of your breath. And then releasing the breath. So you're no longer the doer of the breath, just the receiver. Completely letting go of the process of breathing. Completely letting go of the body. Completely letting go of thoughts. So if thoughts come, that's fine, that's natural. But you don't hold on to them. They just pass through your mind like clouds through the sky, appearing and disappearing. No substance, empty. Returning again and again to the breath. Deeply relaxed. Letting go. Letting go. 
letting you come. Breathe into your heart, move fingers and toes. Reach the arms overhead, take a deep breath, stretch long. Hug the knees into the chest, rocking side to side. Feeling the ground massaging your back. And coming center, rub hand to hand and foot to foot. Roll to your side. Rest your head on your arm. Rest your body on the ground. Rest your mind in the feel of your body resting on the ground. Feel those touch points. Feel the soft places. Your breath. Feel your heart. And then slowly bring yourself up to sitting any way you're comfortable. Sinking down into the sit bones, lifting through the spine. Inhale, arms up. Press joints together at the heart. Inhale the heart up to the hands. Exhale, shoulders relax down. Inhale deeply, breathing in from bottom to top. Take it all in. Let it all go. Drop the chin to the chest. Namaste. Namaste.